Rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we, we have, have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. sheep. We, we have, have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have, have offended, offended against thy holy laws. We have done those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips. Forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We will read the Venite found on page 459. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The psalm appointed for the 22nd day of the month at morning prayer is Psalm 107, found on page 476. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth forever. O let them give thanks, whom the Lord hath redeemed and delivered from the hand of the enemy. And gather them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They went astray in the wilderness, out of the way, and found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. So they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them forth by the right way, that they might go to the city where they dwelt. O oh, that men therefore praise the Lord for his goodness, and declare the wonders that he doeth for the children of men. For he satisfieth the empty soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, be fast bound in misery and iron. Because they rebelled against the words of the Lord, and lightly regarded the counsel of the Most Highest. He also brought down their heart through heaviness. They fell down. And there was none to help them. So when they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, he delivered them out of their distress. For he brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death, and brake their bonds in sunder. O oh, that men would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness, and declare the wonders that he doeth for the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and smitten the bars of iron in sunder. 
Foolish men are plagued for their offense, and because, their, of, and because of their wickedness. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they were even hard at death's door. So when they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, he delivered them out of their distress. He sent his word and healed them, and they were saved from their destruction. Oh, that men would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness, and declare the wonders that he doeth for the children of men. That they were offer unto him the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and tell out his works with gladness. They that go down to the sea in ships, and occupy their business in great waters. These men see the works of the Lord, and his wonders in the deep. For at his word the stormy wind ariseth, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They carry it upon the heavens, and down again into the deep. Their soul melteth away because of the trouble. They reel to and fro, and stagger like drunken men, and are at their wit's end. So when they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, he delivered them out of their distress. For he maketh the storm to cease, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they are at rest. And so he bringeth them unto the heaven where they would be. O that man would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness, and declare the wonders that he doeth for the children of men. That they would exalt him also in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the seat of the elders. He turneth the floods into a wilderness, and drieth up the water springs. A fruitful land maketh he barren, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Again he maketh the wilderness a standing water, and water springs of a dry ground. And there he setteth the hungry, that they may build themselves a city to dwell in. That they may sow their land and plant vineyards to yield them faults of increase. He blessed them so they multiply exceedingly and suffered not their cattle to decrease. And again, when they are minished and brought low through oppression, through through any plague and trouble. Though he suffered them to be evil and treated through the tyrants, and let them wander out of the way in the wilderness. Yet helpeth he the poor out of misery, and maketh him households like a flock of sheep. The righteous will consider this and rejoice, and the mouth of all wickedness shall be stopped. Whoso is wise will ponder these things, and they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Here beginneth the first verse of the sixth chapter of Numbers. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite to to separate themselves unto the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine or vinegar of strong drink. Neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes or eat moist grapes or dried. All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the kernels even to the husk. All the days of the vow of his separation, there shall be no razor come to his head until the days be fulfilled, in which he separated himself unto the Lord. He shall be holy, and shall let the locks of his hair out of his head grow. All the days he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body, He shall not make himself unclean for his father or for his mother, for his brother or for his sister when they die, because of the consecration of his God is upon his head. All the days of his separation he is holy unto the Lord. And if any man die suddenly by him, he had defiled the head of his consecration, then he shall shave his head in the days of his cleansing. On the seventh day he shall shave it, And on the eighth day he shall bring two turtles or two young pigeons to the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering and make atonement for him, that he sin by the dead and he shall hallow his head 
in that same day. And he shall consecrate unto the Lord the days of his separation, and shall bring a lamb of the first year for a trespass offering. But the days that were before shall be lost, because his separation was defiled. And this is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought into the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and he shall offer his offering unto the Lord. One he lamb for the first year without blemish for a burnt offering, one ewe lamb for the first year without blemish for a sin offering, and one ram without blemish for a peace offering, and a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, and wafers of unleavened bread anointed with oil, and their meat offering, and their drink offering. And the priest shall bring them before the Lord, and sh shall offer his sin offering and his burnt offering. And he shall offer the ram for a sacrifice of peace offering unto the Lord, with a basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also his meat offering and his drink offering. And the Nazarite shall shave his head on his separation at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall take the hair of his head of his separation and put it in the fire, which is under the sacrifice of the peace offering. And the priest shall take the sodden shoulder of the ram and one unleavened cake out of the basket and one unleavened wafer and shall put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after the hair of his separation is shaven. And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. This is holy for the priest. With a wave basket and heave shoulder and after that the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who has vowed and is offering unto the Lord for his separation. Beside that his hand shall get according to the vow which he vowed. So he must do after the law of his separation. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his son saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Here endeth the first lesson. We will read the first half of the Benedicite found on pages 11 and 12. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye waters that be above the firmament, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O all ye powers of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye sun and moon, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye stars of heaven, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye showers and dew, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye winds of God, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye fire and heat, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye winter and summer, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye dews and frost, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye frost and cold, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye ice and snow, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye nights and days, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye light and darkness, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye lightnings and clouds, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Here beginneth the 22nd verse of the 10th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple of Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? 
If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they beareth witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hands. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do ye stone me? And the Jews answered, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, then the scripture cannot be broken. Say ye of him, Whose the Father has sacrificed, sanctified, and sit unto the world? Thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, and went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. And many resorted unto him, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true, and many believed on him there. Here endeth the second lesson. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us. That we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, Almighty God, mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who, hast nothing, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who, who are penitent, create and make in us a new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, acknowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose surface is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us with the same mighty power and grant that this day we f fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by thy governance may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who dost from thy throne behold all dwellers upon earth, most heartily we beseech thee with thy favor to behold and bless thy servant, the President of the United States, and all others in authority, and so replenish them with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that they may always incline to thy will and walk in thy way. And do them plenteously with heavenly gifts, Grant them in health and prosperity long to live. And finally, after this life, to attain everlasting joy and felicity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the helpful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bonds of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways affl afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. O God, whose mercy cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of the souls of thy servants departed and grant them an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I bid your prayers for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, we thine, thine unworthy, unworthy servants, servants do give, give thee most, most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for thine inestimable love, in the, the redemption, redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service 
and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, that thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.